Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 15 questions of paragraph comprehension for the ASFOB test. To practice more, download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. The paragraph. When we think of security for the home, most of us think of devices that will physically hinder another person. Researchers have found that some simple, everyday, fairly inexpensive objects can be as effective as much more expensive security systems. The question. Which of the following sentences would most likely come next in the paragraph? A. For example, leaving the radio on during the day can make a home sound occupied. B. For example, leaving notes on doors or windows is not a good idea. C. For example, equipping the home with a costly design system is a good silent guard. D. For example, doors should only be opened after a visitor has been identified. The answer is A. The paragraph suggests that simple and inexpensive objects can be effective for home security, and the most logical continuation would be, for example, leaving the radio on during the day can make a home sound occupied. Question 2. The paragraph. The fable always explicitly states a moral truth. The fairy tale, in contrast, leaves all decisions about meaning up to us, whether we wish to make any application to our life or simply to enjoy the fantastic events it tells about. The question. According to the passage, a fable differs from a fairy tale in that a fable has a. A happy ending. b. An ethical meaning. c. A complicated plot. d. Unusual events taking place. The answer is b. According to the passage, a fable differs from a fairy tale in that a fable has an ethical meaning. Question 3. The paragraph. The women's flying training detachment was the brainchild of Jacqueline Cochran, the famous flyer. Because of the overwhelming demand for qualified men to fly in combat during World War II, she was able to persuade the Army to train women pilots to ferry military aircraft from manufacturers to embarkation points for later shipment overseas. The question. The author implies that the primary motivation for establishing a training program for women pilots during World War II was a. Army's wish to utilize women's abilities b. Unavailability of qualified male pilots c. Fame of flyer Jacqueline Cochran d. Existence of the Women's Flying Training Detachment The answer is b. The author implies that the primary motivation for establishing a training program for women pilots during World War II was the unavailability of qualified male pilots. Question 4. The Paragraph According to Mark Twain, October is a particularly dangerous month to speculate in stocks. Others include July, January, September, April, November, May, March, June, December, August, and February. The question. What was Mark Twain's point? A. Certain times of the year are better than others for buying stocks. B. October is an especially bad month for speculating in stocks. C. Speculating in stocks is not a safe investment for your money. D. It's always a good time to make a sound investment in stocks. The answer is C. Mark Twain's point is that speculating in stocks is not a safe investment for your money. Question 5. The paragraph. Physical sound energy is transmitted through the external ear, the pinna, and the middle ear to the inner ear, where it creates pressure waves in the fluid of the cochlea. There, hairs on the organ of cordy are moved by the pressure waves. The movement of the hair starts the process by which nerve impulses are generated. The question. Where is the organ of cordy located? A. Between the external ear and the middle ear. B. Between the middle ear and the inner ear. C. In the inner ear. D. In the middle ear. The answer is C. The organ of cordy is located in the inner ear. Question 6. The paragraph. A period of time is usually measured by comparing it with another period of time. For example, a year on Mercury is equal to 88 Earth days. A year on Uranus is approximately 348 Mercury years. 
The question. According to the passage, the way time is usually measured shows that time is a. Flexible b. Relative c. Cyclical d. Calendar-based The answer is b. According to the passage, the way time is usually measured shows that time is relative. Question 7. The paragraph. Physicists seek out those features of nature that are simple and universal. The secret of their success is not so much a matter of finding answers as it is asking the right questions. The trick is keeping the questions simple and sticking to universal phenomena. Simple questions can be answered unambiguously by careful observation of repeated experiments and by logical thinking. The question. Which of the following questions is most clearly an example of the kind discussed in the paragraph? A. How can the destruction of the environment be prevented? B. What can people do to live happier lives? C. How fast do stones of a particular size fall? D. How large was the meteorite that was observed last night? The answer is C. The question, how fast do stones of a particular size fall, is most clearly an example of the kind discussed in the paragraph, as it is a simple, universal question that can be answered through careful observation and experimentation. Question 8. The paragraph. The duty of the lighthouse keeper is to keep the light burning no matter what happens so that ships will be warned of the presence of dangerous rocks. The question, if a shipwreck should occur near the lighthouse, even though he would like to aid in the rescue of the ship's crew and passengers, the lighthouse keeper must. A. Stay at his light. B. Rush to their aid. C. Turn out the light. D. Quickly sound the siren. The answer is A. If a shipwreck should occur near the lighthouse, even though he would like to aid in the rescue of the ship's crew and passengers, the lighthouse keeper must stay at his light. Question 9. The paragraph. In certain areas, water is so scarce that every attempt is made to conserve it. For instance, on one oasis in the Sahara Desert, the amount of water necessary for each date palm tree is carefully determined. The question. How much water is each date palm tree given? A. No water at all. B. Exactly the amount required. C. Water only if it is healthy. D. Water on alternate days. The answer is B. Each date palm tree is given exactly the amount of water required. Question 10. The paragraph. From a building designer's standpoint, Three things that make a home livable are the client, the building size and the amount of money the client has to spend. The question, according to the passage, to make a home livable. A. The prospective piece of land makes little difference. B. It can be built on any piece of land. C. The design must fit the owner's income and size. D. The design must fit the designer's income. The answer is C. According to the passage, to make a home livable, the design must fit the owner's income and size. Question 11. The paragraph. A business letter has six parts instead of five. The extra part is called the inside address. It is placed just above the salutation. The other five parts are just the same as for a friendly letter. The question. What is the extra part of the business letter? A. The salutation. B. A friendly letter. C. The inside address. D. The six parts instead of five. The answer is C. The extra part of the business letter is the inside address. Question 12. The paragraph. Use correct spelling, punctuation, capitalization, letter form and paragraphing. When you have finished your letter through and rewrite it if you are not satisfied with any part of it. The question. When should you rewrite your letter? A. When it sounds good. B. When you have used correct spelling. C. If you are satisfied with all parts. D. If you are not satisfied with any part of it. The answer is D. You should rewrite your letter if you are not satisfied with any part of it. Question 13. The paragraph. 
Mineral-rich Sair is one of the world's most important sources of uranium. It also is a source of copper, tin, diamonds, mainly industrial, gold, cobalt, and zinc. Agricultural products include palm oil, and kernels, cottonseed, rubber, cotton lint, coffee, peanuts, sweet potatoes and yams, and cassava. The question. How many cotton products does Zaire produce? A. One cotton product. B. Three cotton products. C. Six cotton products. D. Two cotton products. The answer is D. Zaire produces two cotton products, cottonseed and cotton lint. Question 14. The paragraph. They returned to the beach, where blankets spotted the slope to the water. An advancing wall of clouds, black and gray, darkening the expanse of the ground beneath, approached from the west. To the east and above them the sky remained clear, the sun warm, as if collaborating in the deception. The question. The deception referred to in the passage is that. A. The sky is clear in the east. B. There is no storm approaching. C. The sun is warm. D. It is too cold to swim. The answer is B. The deception referred to in the passage is that there is no storm approaching. Question 15. The paragraph. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black military aviators in the U.S. Army Air Corps, a precursor of the U.S. Air Force. Trained at the Tuskegee Army Air Field in Alabama, they flew more than 15,000 individual sorties in Europe and North Africa during World War II. Their impressive performance earned them more than 150 distinguished flying crosses, and helped encourage the eventual integration of the U.S. Armed Forces. The Question what can be inferred from this passage? A. The Tuskegee Airmen were also naval officers. B. Due to segregation, the Tuskegee Airmen did not receive any military decorations. C. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was responsible for the segregation of the U.S. Armed Forces. D. Prior to World War II, the U.S. Armed Forces were segregated. The answer is D. From the passage, it can be inferred that prior to World War II, the U.S. Armed Forces were segregated. To practice more, download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.